Hello folks, I am Badger Wild. This is Badger Wild Gaming, and today I have something a little bit different in GTA. I've never seen a video done on this, and this is about the heist mission prison break, where you go on the station. Specifically, or specifically, specifically, why was I thinking specifically? Specifically, the cargo ship part. Now, most people don't like the cargo ship because there's a lot of enemies, and you got to fight your way through them. At least this is how most people do it. Now, everyone, as you can see right now, nobody wants to do the cargo ship. But I have discovered a way to do the cargo ship that every time that I do it, almost assuredly guarantees the player that implements this trick platinum every time. Okay? Or at least 90% of the time. And you can end the entire mission in just a few minutes. In fact, I would dare say you can end the mission faster than the guys getting the cops, which I know some people are saying, my God, do you know how long it takes to get through that dadgum ship? Well, you're going to be amazed when you see this. No sense in getting into a fight, dude. Really, there's not, because you're just going to waste a lot more ammo than you're going to get out of it, and you're going to get a little bit of money, which isn't going to pay for all your expenses. All right. All you do is you just climb up here. All right, hopefully this guy will follow me up. That's all I need to do. All right. We're going to climb a little bit faster than normal. Get our happy butts up here. Go, 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 go. Like I said, you climb up this. We tried to implement this a minute ago. I guess he figures out... I guess he's watching me and he's figured out... I do know something here. Alright. Run down through here. And I had to grab the frickin' parachute. Because I've been using my parachute for the day. Okay. Oh, up, up, and... You're not allowed. Hey, what are you doing here? Now, this is the only problem with this. Alright, I gotta kill these guys quickly. Forgot about these dudes in front. Where's the other one? Alright, there we go. We have the car, baby. Now, this is where things get even more interesting because you can also bypass all of the bodyguards that come out. All the guy, all the cars that come out to basically engage you. Oh, shoot. Am I the one driving? Yes, I am the one driving. Okay. Before we take off, I need to figure out where this is. Okay, ramp one, right there. If you're wanting to figure out where this is, just follow, like, the striped area that I'm on right now. This is where you need to be at, and he's probably freaking out at the moment. Like, what are you doing? And then you want to charge this ramp. Because the thing that gets you almost immediately is when these guys show up. We're going to jump the highway, is what we're going to do. And instead of taking that, we're going to take their tracks. Because if we take the highway, the very first thing that's going to happen is those idiots on the road are going to come after us. i got to be careful because there could be a train coming and I've got to make sure that I can get... I can swap sides before I end up taking... 300 tons of steel to the face of this thing. But like I said, if you're going this way, none of the bad guys will spawn in here. You'll bypass almost probably 75% of them. This guy is going to do... This guy's doing basically minimal work. He could pretty much just sit down on the ground watch me do this. One guy can do this easily. So we're going to take this. You can already see right now, we have... Right now, we would still be trying to get through about 10% of the ship is what we would have gotten through by the time we would have finished. We would have had 10% of the ship done at this point in time. We've already got the car and we're running. And the guys at the other end probably don't even realize we're getting done. Like, we have we have already accomplished a lot. Alright. 
All right. Now we are off the road. This is where you're going to have to get back on the road, and this is where the bad guys are going to start becoming a problem. But once you get past this point here, like you should probably run like one or two bad guys. One or two. One or two. After this, it is straight... Whoops, that was the wrong turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I said, driving skills are going to be very in are going to be very necessary at this point because you're going to have to try and do this without hitting as many vehicles as possible. That's it. Just keep him pinned down. Once I get into traffic here, they'll have a much harder time chasing us. Make some traffic shoot at him. Make some traffic. Now, you're just going to drive as hard as you can. Are you kidding, dude? Explosives. No. Bad. Bad gunner. Are you kidding? And now we have a police escort. Awesome. Good job, dude. Good freaking job. This is what happens when players are not on the same page. And this is not something that I want to be taking out off-road or anything like that. All right. We're just going to head straight to the objective and hope to God we can lose those guys. Maybe we can lose the police. All right. Broke pursuit. Now, if it hadn't been for the explosive, my so-called partner here had... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Flip me off, dude. You're the one that checked the dadgum explosive. Okay. It's not my fault. So, say, say we hadn't chucked the explosive, we would already be there by now. Give this a few more seconds. Pull a little bit further along, so we're... Come on, break pursuit, damn it. Gotta stay one step ahead. There we go. There we go. Alright, pursuit broken. We are now going to take the car. Ruskoski's car. You see how fast that was? We killed like three people. At least I killed three. I killed two people. He killed one. So I mean, it, that's that's how quick you can get this done. It's like easy money. And if you look, if you look right now, the other guys at this moment are still trying to complete their mission. Which normally, if you do it the other way, in which you go through all the bad guys and you do the shootout and all the movie take stuff. You end up finishing this mission last. Now we have finished this early, so we can actually go in and support these guys. Somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it. I'm going to have to get another car and go support them. But hey, look at this. Easy way to complete this. I know this is the mission that like scares some people. You saw how badly nobody wanted to play this mission. Now, this, this dude's going to remember this trick, and he's going to be like, dude... We have to... I have to do this trick. I'm going to show this trick to all of my friends and everything. Yeah, 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 darling. whoop de doo feminazi. Go right for it. You need a little pantsuit. Have fun. All right. And we completed our heist. Passed and set up. And... Badger Wild is platinum, baby! And that's how you get platinum on this one. And it's so easy. It's amazed me how many people will go through all of the big bad guys. But as usual, this is Badger Wild. It took a take because we didn't have any communication. If you've got any communication, just tell everyone you know this trick. Badger Wild showed me this trick on his channel. You can do this mission in record time. If we hadn't had the problem with the cops, we would actually have been done quicker. So the things you've got to remember, it's the first ladder that you're going to have to go up. The first one of the cargo uh, off loaders I think is what they're called on the shipping containers well the shipping container moving things I don't know what they're called somebody tell me what they are in the comments I don't know what they're called but it's the first one head up the yellow ladder you're gonna have to skydive off there is a parachute provided mind you by Rockstar so I think this is something that they're like testing to see how many people are probably smart enough to jump off you don't know Rockstar is kind of funny like that but when you get down you're gonna have to eliminate at the very most three guards Grab the car, jump it off, stay close to it, hit that ramp, jump the highway, get on the train tracks, bypass a vast majority of their forces. Nearly 80 to 85% of those guys, you're going to completely bypass the dudes in the car. Probably have to deal like one or two of them. Don't throw any bombs. Don't attract any police department. Hit that highway, baby. You'll be home free in no time. As usual, this is Badger Wild. 
and once again just telling y'all what's the motto of the channel the motto of the channel it's not play harder baby you don't have to play harder you have to play smarter you play smarter the dark girl lets you back most of the time she usually calls you back because hey you're smarter than most people you know how to handle things as always this is badger wild and i'll see you guys next time